all four of the divisions have performed pretty well. We've seen very healthy demand across the business. The research services division is doing particularly well. I think that's, and it's a factor we've talked about before, you're starting to see our clients, particularly in Europe and the US, they're getting back to work, they're coming out of the pandemic environment, and they're really starting trying to catch up on lost ground. And that's driving a little bit of more momentum in our industry. So that's healthy. Um, we did upgrade our guidance um, with these results. We took it up from mid-teens to high-teens. I think there's two factors there I'd call out. One is really around that, that good demand environment and nice sort of evenly balanced growth across the four divisions. And then the other bit's currency. You know, a strengthening US dollar actually is a healthy one environment for us. All of our contracts are priced in US dollars as we repatriate them into rupees. It gives us a little bit of a boost on the top line. So those two factors together, unusually for us, have given us a, 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 the confidence to upgrade the guidance really quite early in the year. I, I spoke about this 10-year uh, contract with Zoetis uh, last week when you guys announced it. Yeah. Uh, tell us a bit about this because I read your comments in the release as well. And you mentioned about how this is in, in some ways is a landmark deal. I don't remember the words verbatim, but it seemed like a landmark deal. Can you tell us a bit about this? Yeah, it, it is. It, it takes us actually, we, we cross a threshold from being a biologics manufacturer that was really focused on clinical scale support. So as you know, in our industry, um, it takes seven, eight years before uh, products finally get through to the end consumer or patient, or in this case, you know, the animal that, that, that's being treated. So it's a long research development cycle. Most of the work we've done historically has been to support that. So it's, it's small and medium sized manufacturing. This takes us over that threshold into being a fully uh, integrated commercial scale manufacturer and with a product that looks to have fantastic potential. So Atis is a, a world leader in what they do. They're an innovator. This is the first antibody. They were the first to bring antibody technologies into animal health. And this is a flagship pr um, product for them. They've launched it in Europe already. It seems to be getting a wonderful, wonderful start um, commercially, and they're looking to globalize that. So they're looking to take it to the US market later in the year. And we're delighted to be partnering with them and, and playing our part in supporting their manufacturing.